Yeah, guys. Hello, Africa. Hello, Nigeria. I am here uh, live at Jitex 2020 with um, Ivan, uh, the CEO of Evans Media. You know, we, we, we just got talking some couple of few minutes ago, and um, what I want to do is what he's doing. He's doing a very, very fantastic and phenomenal job, guys. And um, I can't but resist to ask him some questions I've been dying to ask him. So he has, a, he, he has been running a, a media company here in the UAE for seven years. So, so, so te tell us about yourself. Tell us about yourself. Hi, uh, Coyote. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And uh, first of all, can you try to pronounce my surname? Zel. Kovic. Zel Kovic. Yeah. Zel Kovic. So, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's Even good. Zel Kovic, people. <laughs> first, first task. First task done. Thank you very much. No, no, we just met. We just met. I think it's ten minutes ago, yeah, man, and uh, yeah, we just uh, uh, exchanged a few ideas. And I think that is uh, it is wonderful that you're doing uh, the thing with entrepreneurs and uh, series of uh, with entrepreneurs in Nigeria. And uh, here I am, the entrepreneur of, of Dubai. You know, like for seven years. You know, so yeah. Yeah. Tell nice me, meeting you. Tell me. Tell me. Um, how you came here to, um, in Dubai seven years ago. 2013. 2013. Wow, that's a long journey. So yeah. tell me, how how did you decide you wanted you wanted to do uh, start a media company? How do you start a media company in Dubai? It's it's very simple. Uh, you just work in media. You love it, and that, that's it. Uh, and for 30 years like that, and that's it. So my my journey starts uh, when I was 17 in 1992. And uh, I was uh, at the radio station for 10 years. Wow. Doing this, uh, emceeing and producing. Wow, wow. Then I crossed to TV for 10 years. Really? Also hosting the shows and producing the shows as a, as a producer. And then uh, at uh, one point, uh, unfortunately, during the crisis 2008-2009, my business collapsed. And afterwards, when I started rebuilding my business, I was, I was saying, okay, let's uh, start. If I'm starting something new, why not start some, somewhere else? I was invited, a friend of mine invited me here just to see how it is. And, and one curiosity, uh, I was uh, here in 2013 for the first time to see if I can do business, just like you now, at Jitex. Really? <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah. So I was, I was uh, roaming around, seeing, is this for me or not? And after this one month that I, that I spent here, I decided, yes, that's that, that's that's where I want to spend uh, my next uh, period of life. Two years I was alone. Then my kids and family, uh, wife and kids came, and now we are family living in Dubai and having my business Evans Media which is seven years after a partner activation partner of uh, Jitex. Jitex. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Full this round, full round. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. This is amazing. So, tell me, tell me, tell me. How was your Jitex experience um, the year you came? What made you decide I think I think you have much more idea what you're doing than I was <coughs> then. I was just roaming around because uh, Working in Serbia on radio, on TV, having a, my own company with a lot of people, more than 100 people, video production, yes. Uh, it was it was like, I, I can do a lot of things. I can do this, I can do that, I can, uh, I can employ myself, I, I can be employee or I can start my business. But somehow, you know, like it, it turns out that I started my own business and that's it. I don't know. I, I think that that lack of focus costed me I think two years of life because I wasn't here and said I want to do this and this and I, it would be much quicker and my decisions will be better and brighter but I'm creative guy as you see by my <laughs> hairstyle you know so tell me how did you go, got your first clients because I like going straight oh to it's easy just uh, go around with a laptop showing everyone what you do what you did basically because I didn't have a portfolio here in uh, Dubai sell some kind of a story to them and just go around go around go around and after one year you get first client oh my god <laughs> how am i supposed to survive dubai for a whole year without a no, client no there is no 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 that was that was really 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 uh, a struggle and that, that that's true just after one year i got my first client yeah yes what? <laughs> yeah so 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 i don't i don't know was it me was it but but a lack of a, a local portfolio 
is something that connections you know cold calling cold mailing doesn't work these days what works is a, a personal connection with people with uh, businesses and then you do one job i'm very proud that even now we are working with the companies that i was working at the beginning like like uh, we are growing together and uh, uh, people come back to me i i i started alone i didn't have anyone you have your own production in nigeria you know how it is i had only one cameraman and me going negotiating uh, sending proposal uh, invoices there uh, then uh, keeping relationship with the client filming filming whatever and uh, that was my start for good two years three years yeah 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 What? and now <laughs> no, t- 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 yeah, you you wanted you, you wanted more uh, posh story like i invested a million no, no, and no, no, everything no, no, no. came because, uh, yeah. for most media company for most not all yeah i, I i've interacted with a lot of um, yeah business media business owner many have had to bootstrap themselves by that yes and they have to start with one camera shoot something if it's good you get another job to shoot something bigger yeah. it's been like that. yes that's it that's that's wow. exactly it. Wow, wow. you know so, yeah so tell me that, that you know as today now it's easy to, and i do not take it for granted it's easy to see you know how many how many employees do you have presently how many people work with you uh we are we, as i say we are preparing for this covid situation for seven years now what does it mean we are fully remote oh, okay so we have people from jamaica spain uk serbia kazakhstan philippines and singapore we have a company in singapore also So we have uh, uh, Dubai and Singapore. We don't have anybody in Africa, but I think that will change. <laughs> For sure. Anyhow, anyhow, uh, uh, all together on a salary, I think around 20 people, 21. And uh, what is even more important, and maybe now because you are starting a company, you have an idea of starting a company maybe. Uh, uh, gig economy is something that works, you know, yeah, even yeah. remotely. You know, you have ecosystem of 10 editors here, 10 editors there, or, or uh, script writers or, or, or translators, whatever. And then you employ them as you have some as business, pa, which pa, you pa. do, which you do in Nigeria, definitely, I would say. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. definitely. So you, you, you're telling me you did the same thing here and it's worked? Yes, not just here, but in Singapore also. Uh, we did uh, a lot of filming uh, through Asia Pacific through Central Eastern Europe, from Malta to Kazakhstan, Croatia, Greek, Greece, uh, Romania, Bulgaria, you know, and uh, we, we, we shot all around, but it's easy. When you, when you look at it, it's easy. If, if somebody asks you now, can you shoot someone in, something in Bulgaria? Of, of course, course you can. Of course you can, because everything is remote. There are, there are a lot of platforms where you can find your crew or just uh, find it on LinkedIn or Facebook or something like that. If you are in in dubai you have dubai media freelancers group yeah you just find first business there you know uh, you have to start small that's for sure if you don't have a portfolio if you don't have money to wait for a big business or something you have to start small and build up mm. build a relationship uh, having returning clients having someone uh, who trusts you and and then challenge you all the time you know like like Ruined that's this. that's the thing so what's one thing will you say if you had learned earlier if you had known earlier when you came into dubai that, that would have made a difference for you uh focus for me focus focus on what focus on what you want to do your niche because in serbia where i am from if you want to succeed you have to know everything a little bit and to the same thing in nigeria <laughs> yeah, who, would, who would know you know uh, 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 you have to you have to know a lot of things here you are you know like micro niching things to, to, today we are a video production company focused on, on uh, uh, businesses so a b2b communication and internal communication this is what we do i don't think such focus in serbia doesn't exist you know so 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 this is uh, uh, this is really good market people are open to, ex- to uh, experiment explore you know and they need to communicate whatever and uh, singapore also singapore is also good market asia pacific wow 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 so as a dubai business owner what's the difference between running a business in dubai 
as against running it in Serbia and other places that you did? First of all, you have uh, open uh, 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 global uh, uh, network or people, you know. When you're in Dubai, you're everywhere in the world. Mm. I, I just met a guy today from uh, New York and he flew in with a direct flight 14 hours that's it you know no three flights you know that 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 complicates things so so from dubai you are open dubai is open for innovation mm. and has means to support this uh, openness for innovation and ex experimenting in in uh, 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 whatever way so i think and and maybe the most important if you are here to work and to be to work like a normal citizen and uh, obey the rules and laws of this country, which you must and you should, you know, this is really amazing place to live, because, of course, and no, no country can be like your own uh, country, you know, where you're from, but uh, but uh, if the second place definitely Dubai is amazing lifestyle, amazing uh, 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 place to live. It's safe. It has uh, business opportunities, people are open, there are a lot of people from all around the world, 200 nationalities here, so, and, of course, uh, tax, uh, tax Free. law, you know, like, like, there is only VAT, there is no other taxes or, or any other obligations or whatnot. So, yeah. Yeah, so, talking, talking to, uh, because the people who will be consuming this content are business owners. Yeah. So, in Nigeria. In Nigeria. So yeah. What will you tell a business owner who, because uh, again, the, the kind of people I, I coach, I mentor, I talk to, they are just starting business, just starting to test ideas, just starting to take it global. Do you regret your action of, I, I, I want to talk about taking your business out of Serbia as against leaving it there. Do you think you will, uh, you will get what you get now in Serbia if you never left? Absolutely not. I had a company, as I told you, with 100 plus employees. And uh, I came here and still, as you said, bootstrapping and, and, and starting with those 20-ish uh, people within the company. And uh, definitely this one, uh, and, and, and the perspective and the vision there is, I don't know, we, we, we definitely, I, I wouldn't have that in, in Serbia. Mm. But uh, what would I uh, say to people in Nigeria, or of entrepreneurs in Nigeria, which you said there are 70% of people are... Most people. Yeah, most people are entrepreneurs, uh, is don't be somebody else's hands. Be the brain. Because if you are a programmer, like like software developer you can you can have a uh, um, uh, five thousand dollars salary for energy i don't know for nigeria for serbia five thousand dollars is amazing amount of money on the only the highest level uh, mds or ceos are getting that in serbia so if you're getting five thousand you're oh it's okay like uh, imagine what would how much would you get if you develop something of your own and something that you can sell as IP, intellectual property, as a product, like the products we have. We are not, we are not in video production business. We are in business solving uh, business. So we are solving business problems. So uh, uh, this is what I would suggest to people. Don't think about what you can manually do to, for someone. Think about how you can have a, uh, there is a stage here called 10X that's uh, for the startup stage you know for gfs and uh, that means you can create a business which is 10x at his first step and imagine next step 100x or 200x whatever so think about in that direction that that, that would be my message to my friends in nigeria all right guys that's the end of this oh my god uh, okay so before we go yeah um he mentioned i talked i told him about um the Big Brick Africa, which I made a video of some... Yeah, yeah, I, I will ago, look at that, yeah. He's telling us that he's going to be supporting us. So I want you guys to follow him and say hello to him for me <laughs> on my behalf. Oh, 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 oh that, that would be good. Yeah, just mention me there and I will I will tell you how many people okay. reacted to our okay. video. Great. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Great, man. Bye, guys. Bye.
Stay safe, Nigeria. <laughs>